this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming back with you another video, people. I appreciate y'all for um, tuning in. If you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button, notification button. Also, hit the bell and stuff. You'll be the first one to know when I drop a video and give me a thumbs up. And share the video, people. Let's get this out to a whole bunch of people. Also, check out my other channel. Um, it's in my feature channel. And it is um, uh, Dollar Cost Average Investing. If you like that, that can help you get some money to build, to buy more stocks. I mean, buy more ammo and stuff by making money in the stock market. So check that out. And so with that said, people, we're going to talk about some new technology for the 2A community. And this could be mind boggling for a lot of people in the 2A community, people. I'm talking about this is a 2A win. I'm talking about this is early beginning of what we're seeing when it comes to this AI technology and stuff that I've been telling y'all about. Um, when it comes to AI people, um, you got a lot of the big companies that are talking about AI and stuff. But you also have the gun, the two-way community using AI too. And this is one way that they're using AI to, br you know, to bring it to the two-way community. And this technology, which I'm going to get into it further in this video, but right now they have these um, ammo vending machines, just like your soda machines, your candy machines and stuff like that. So now someone came up with a process. Of, okay, just make up a vending machine. And, you know, the vending machines, just like anything else, but this vending machine here has ammo in it. And it has handgun ammo, rifle ammo and stuff, as far as what I've been looking at. And it does age verification. Um, it does an AI scanning of your face and recognition and stuff like that. And it matches with your driver license and stuff like that. And it's in three states right now, as far as I know of. I think it's Alabama, um, uh, Texas, Oklahoma. So I think it's those three states right now that is they pretty much roll out. And these machines are by American distributors. So they the one that are putting these uh, vending machines and stuff out and everything, people. And this is a breakthrough that a lot of people is not really looking at. And, you know, when I talk about the ammo crisis and stuff that we have dealt with and stuff like that, these vending machines can be put in, and in, in I think a lot, and some of them in supermarkets, people, you know, they're inside grocery stores and stuff like that. Now, like I said before, these machines can also bring uh, ammo to areas who don't have ammo shops and gun shops and stuff. So we've been talking about the ammo deserts and stuff. I've been talking about this for a long time, people, when it comes to the ammo deserts where you're having people who have to drive 100 miles plus or 50 miles or whatever the case may be because they don't have ammo and stuff in their areas. So if you have these vending machines that they can place in, you know, the supermarkets in these um, areas and stuff like that that doesn't have ammo shops and stuff like that or have access to um, ammo close by, this can really help these people out, people. If you can put a few machines, you know, and, and they got ammo and stuff in it, that would, you know, have people that don't have to drive so far and everything. Now, that's not going to solve the problem, but it's better than nothing, people. And if the demand is higher in an area that doesn't have ammo shops, more machines that they can put and, you know, and, you know, they can kind of do accordingly or whatever. But, you know, this is just the early phase and stuff of it and everything. But, you know, this is the type of technology that the 2A community is going to need to overcome um, a lot of things that, you know, has been pretty much um, stamping down uh, when it comes to self-defense and stuff like that. People having access to ammo and everything. Now, the flip side of it, the other side is going to come up with all this stuff about, you know, people trying to break into vending machines and robbing and stuff like that. But that's besides the point, people. You know, tonight, anytime you have something good, there's people going to come out with something bad and stuff like that. Now, some people thought it was a joke for some of the stuff I was doing. They didn't believe it. And then, you know, now they, they see it for themselves. And it's easy, people. And it's just, you know, it's pretty much easy. Just like buying, you know, a, a soda and buying some candy out of a vending machine and stuff like that. But I feel like this... It's just one part of the equation that we need in the 2A community, and this is one thing. You know, there's a lot of other things I've been looking at that, you know, can help the 2A community and stuff when it comes to ammo and stuff like that. So, I'm talking about with this breakthrough, using the AI technology, because most of the time when you're hearing about AI technology, you're not hearing about it in the 2A community. 
And so, you know, this is flying under the radar, people. I'm talking about, like I said before, I'm out of the box over here. So, but this is flying under the radar. These are the type of things that we're going to have to use in the 2A community. You know, we're going to have to use the new technologies and, and all this stuff that, you know, the world has access to and to have breakthrough in the 2A community. I'm talking about a lot of people think, you know, they got this, this old mindset that, hey, you know, to keep trying to do that, that stuff. It's, it's not going to work. So we have to move and evolve just like technology in the 2A community if we want success when it comes to 2A community people. So, you know, I think this is uh, an awesome thing that we have going on right now. And, you know, like I said before, people, um, ammo is a necessity to your firearm. Without the ammo, you don't have nothing but metal and plastic, people. Uh, to my, you know, there are so many people. I still see people right now. Uh, you know, they're putting more emphasis in the firearm, but nobody's putting emphasis in the ammo. Because if I go out and spend 90% of my money to buy one firearm, and then I don't have no money to buy ammo, what is the whole purpose, people? So, you know, we have to look at our plan that we're doing and stuff. And, you know, I do see some people, you know, I had an old plan a long time ago. Um, you know, I used to tell people and stuff during the pandemic and stuff like that, when you have price gouging and stuff. Guess what? Um, just get your ammo first, get your ammo first of the caliber that you're going to get and have that plan. And then once you get your firearm, you have your ammo because what people was doing is going buying the firearm, but they didn't really have the ammo to go with it and stuff like that. Or they had maybe one box and stuff like that. So if you're in the plan to whatever the case may be, you're trying to do these type of things. Guess what? You have to come up with a, a plan that's more easy and reachable and then sit around waiting and then see what's going to happen. And so, you know, but right now you can see that everything I've been telling you with this ammo thing it is a necessity. You have to have it. So with these AI technologies and the vending machines and stuff working all together, people, we can solve um, some uh, a few problems in the 2A community. And that is people who have an access and, you know, and getting reach to get ammo and stuff. And the ammo deserts, you know, I'm going to do a video on some stuff like that. I got some videos I've been looking at and stuff like that. Uh, I might not bring you videos all the time, people. But guess what? Some videos, when I bring these videos, people, they're going to be really, you know, looking out in the future and stuff. You know, none of this near stuff that a lot of people looking at. You know, for years, we've been nearsighted looking at the stuff right in our face when it comes to a community. But guess what? We need to look five to ten years out. The same people who want to take your two way away, they don't look at what's going on right now. They're looking five to ten years out. The um these um the gun laws and all this type of stuff, people. So we have to start doing what the other side is doing. As a two way community, we have to look forward and further out and everything. So this is a good opportunity for the two way community, and we'll see where this go at and stuff. And we probably could build on it. If we can get them in three states, heck, we can get them in all states, people. So there's gonna be certain states. They have laws that's going to be so strenuous, it's going to be very difficult to do. But, you know, we can get a breakthrough in majority of the states. I'm talking about, I call that a success. Right now, if we can reach, if reaching three, we can reach many more and everything. So this is just the start of it, people. And we're going to see how this go and evolve and everything. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next video. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.